Um, yo, let me stay in Atlanta for a second. Yes, sir. Young Thug, YSL Rico. Free Jeff. That trial is about to begin on the 27th. Uh, Young Thug, he, I, I think it's five of them that's remaining that didn't cop pleas. Judge just ruled, and let me get this right. Judge just ruled that he's going to admit 17 sets of lyrics that the prosecutors can use as evidence against Young Thug and his five remaining co-defendants. This is a trial that's been lingering on for a year and a half now. They finally got a jury. It's finally ready to go to trial. And these lyrics are going to be used against this man. How do you think that this trial is going to play out? Uh, this is hard to talk about because I'm kind of close to it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, being here in Atlanta, working with YSL as much as I've worked with them. I mean, YSL and Free Bands was like next door neighbors. Um, you know, doing tours, doing those same independent tours with YSL. I actually toured with Yat Gotti, took him around, you know what I'm saying? And actually knowing, you know, Gunna and all these people, uh, it's it's difficult to address because you know the actual people that are playing a part in it. Um, but I will say this. I think that the trial will eventually end up being a mistrial. And I'm going to say why. The prosecution has been moving extremely messy. They're like, you know how g girls call guys thirsty? And they so thirsty yep. to get the cat. They so thirsty to get them. They do thirsty shit and, and lame shit and, and just extra shit to try to get this girl. The prosecution thirsty. They thirsty for a conviction. So they're going to do weird things like have 700 witnesses with no new evidence presented or whatever to piss the judge off like he was just talking about last week. They're going to do weird things like maybe set plants. We'll see if people are going to walk up to Young Thug and give him a, 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 some drugs to see if he's going to take it. They're doing weird shit. Um, and eventually, I think that judge is going to get tired of that because at the end of the day, at this point, it's about. All they really, if, if they had something so definite on Thug, then why the hell is it taking two years for y'all to come out with it? Why did y'all have to arrest almost a hundred, with a hundred some odd people to let them go free on a plea? They literally let them walk out to jail. Just to say, oh yeah, yeah, well if you say this, we'll let you walk out to jail. So you don't arrest a hundred people and let all but five go walk out to jail for free. So basically, you're going with a he say, she say, and now you want to bring the lyrics into play. Y'all ain't got shit. Y'all ain't had shit from the get-go. Y'all ain't got nothing on that boy. He would have been trying to start that trial. Y'all would have tried to push that bitch out and get his ass locked. No, nah, but they, they stalling. You're trying, to, you're trying to fish, and ain't nobody cracking. You're trying to get that star witness, and ain't nobody cracking. You feel what I'm saying? And so... It's a situation where I don't think they have much, and I think that it's 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 quite frankly a shit show, and they gonna mess around, and they gonna lose it all in a mistrial because they gonna do some weird shit. They gonna do some un because they want them bad. You gotta understand people's careers on the line. If they convict this guy, um, you know some of these motherfuckers can run for president. Fannie yeah, Willis. Yeah is a nation national name national the whole world knows who she is and that's one tough lady and i don't want no parts and i ain't got nothing bad to say about fanny willis and i don't want to come over here and fuck with me fanny i ain't got no problem with you but god damn it um <laughs> who but at the end of the day you got to understand that a lot of these people are puppets and it's it's somebody up top that's pulling the strings feel what i'm saying and they sending they sending people that look like us they sending us to go get us. So they they, they put a battery in that woman back and say, hey, go do my bidding. And you go take them down. And guess what we're gonna do after we take you after you take them down? I will give you a promotion. It's the same way that Master did on the plantation when goddamn Sambo wanted to tell on all the slaves that was, oh, goddamn Jeffro about the goddamn, he about the goddamn run. 
And the master will throw his ass a chicken. Like, thank you, Sambo. You told me. And they go whip Jeffro, whip his ass, and whip him good. And, and every time somebody ready to escape the plantation, here comes Sambo ass, telling master what's going on for that damn chicken. They just throwing that, they throwing half them folks chickens, dog. To goddamn slime out the half the goddamn city, man. I mean, and it's it's sad, you know what I mean? But like I say, if they really had something, they would have been, they would have been trying to get this thing started. It took these folks almost a year to get a jury. Because not yeah, everybody yeah. knows this is some bullshit, man. And that's all I can say. <laughs> On the record. <laughs> now, offline, we can have a conversation. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I, I spoke to an attorney down there, and he was like, yo, this this trial is a mess. He said, this trial is a mess. Don't think from a legal standpoint that it's as buttoned up as they making it seem. He was like, they right now, they're in, they're in deep, so they got to go through with it. But the bottom line is, it's a mess. So, you know, we see how this thing play out. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.